In this episode, I'll discuss how you can show an alert message in Blazor application. To build alert messages, I'll use Matte Blazor. Matte Blazor is a material design component for Blazor. This is the official website of Matte Blazor. Here we can see the installation guide. So very first step, you need to install package, NuGet package Matte Blazor. Then you need to import the using name, Matte Blazor namespace uh, in imports.razor file. And you need to add some static file inside the index.html if it is Blazor WebAssembly application or if it is Blazor server application, you need to add inside the host.cstml file. Also, you need to register Mad Blazor services inside the startup.cs file. And for use Mad Dialog service or Mad Portal service, you need to add this component inside the app browser file. In my application, I have already installed Mad Blazor. Let's see the manage new get packages. Here we can see that Mad Blazor has already installed. For you, you can install by searching Mad Blazor by uh, selecting the browse option. And then you need to add the Mad Blazor namespace uh, inside this imports.razor file. And inside the program.cs, you need to register Mad Blazor services. I, I added Mad Blazor services here. And for static file, you need to add uh, Mad Blazor CSS inside the head section of index.html file. And the lower part of the body section, you need to add the Mad Blazor JavaScript file. This is all about installation. Okay, let's add code to build the alert messages in this application. This is the display customer component. Here we can see a on handle delete method. This, this is an event handler method of delete button. This method, this method deletes the customer from the database. Here I am adding a new use cases like uh, if the customer has no order then it will delete the customer or, or if there is the order for the customer is going to be deleted I will show an alert so in here I will add the alert let's visit the Mad Blazor website let's search the alert so in here we can see the pop-ups and model section so let's click the dialog service. We can see a mad dialog service using the mad dialog service. We can build a lot. Let's copy this code and paste here. Let's use this text that customer has orders that cannot be deleted. Also, Mad Dialog service, we need to create a, we need to inject this service here, like this. I Mad Dialog service. Let's save. Let's run the application. Okay, this is the customer list. Let's click the delete button here. Here we can see this alert component comes from Mad Blazor. So in real world, this design might not be fit with application user interfaces. It might require to change the design. 
In next episode, I'll discuss how we can customize this alert component. Thank you.